Thank you very much. And this is our last reader, I believe. I think so, yeah. I think so. Uh, Vivian McKechnie. I took a chance on that name, anyway. Was born in Dublin and now lives in Limerick. She is a graduate of Trinity College and is an English teacher. She taught in Dublin, Kenya, where she lived for four and a half years, and Limerick. Her work has appeared in Stony Thursday, Revival and the Limerick Leader. Uh, she has read her work on Lyric FM. Vivian. song. I mourn, I cry, I love, I hate. I live as long as you. What right of you to cull my tribe and leave the world for you? You who destroy without thought, you who kill without remorse. What can I leave? It's almost gone. You wear my tusks, you take my song, you sift through time and blot out. Remember, you are not God yet. I bury my dead, I mourn their loss with sensitive trunks and tusks, tracing their lives on the skull's maps. We feel the pain and the anguish of traps. What greed takes our tusks, gaping homes, ornamental wealth for show? I eat the grass, sometimes alone, nature's plenty, renewable, blown back on the winds of time. I don't wear your teeth or hair about my neck, yet I care for my sons and daughters too. You put us on show, make us dance your song, we who have our own. In integrity, with dignity, in joy and hope, I sing of the savage and the wild, wild world. Leave us alone, put yourselves out. Let us be free of civilization's fear and doubt. Let me feel the folds of the earth, the dust of time, the swirl of dirt, the drought, the flood, time's confusion, the sunshine, the water, life's illusion. So imagine one morning, suddenly no trace is found of friend or foe. You are the last remaining one of your race. Your species gone, wiped out, extinct, lost forever, no familiar face, ever. No, you'd cry, but we cannot. Now with one wild flap of grey, with high-pitched sound and low rumble, we breathe. Take, take a copy. Thank you. And now the last of our uh, contributors is uh, Mr. Brian Blaney, who uh, studied at Limerick School of Art before joining the fire service and editing their national magazine. Brian is a graduate of UCC, uh, NCIR and UL. A regular reader and contributor to Revival, Brian Blaney. The old man's boots sat, pinched together, to one side of the open fire. Boot laces pulled from gaping eyelids, coil like bouquet ribbon, while tongues hang down from the footless mouths. The toes of his stocking feet flapped to the radiant heat, the small of his back resting where his backside should be. Posture or lack of it doesn't get much thought room in thoughts after a hard day's work on the building site. When he was a boy, he looked on his father's silence as strength and his economy with words as confidence. Now he knows, now he knows his father in his own tired bones and sees his workman's hands, fingers locked across his own chest. On the mantelpiece, the clock chimes, it's time to go. He wonders how many chiming clocks his father heard as he asks himself how far he has come before pulling on his workman's boots again. Thank you, Brian. There will be now a short interval, I believe. Encouragement to Tom, the book, the book. 
Before I forget, we'll have the commercial. Go as fast as you can and throw the letters in the direction of Dominic, who's slowly expiring. Thank you.